rocket pull power. So yeah, what's left? Twisted Metal is the only one I could think of. Can we get back there? No. Okay. Did I stream the DLC for Forbidden West? I can't remember. I know I played it, I just can't remember if I streamed it or not. I think I did. the point of that then I guess nothing I guess it's just like a little sector back there I have no idea okay this? What? They got some random looking characters. The Magical Graffitiist. Nah, I don't know. I feel like there was a game like that, but I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. Thank you. It's not Chalk Zone. <laughs> I'm guessing the only goal there is just to not be under that when it happens. Right? Lava level time. They got the music down really well in this game, too. But that's something else I really like about it. The areas look good. You know, this is exactly how I felt playing the Spyro remakes. Like, you could tell they were made by people who really wanted to bring every single level to life, you know? What more could you ask for as a fan? In a studio that really understands it, you know? God damn. Alright, we have to bait him. That was close. as well. Okay, that seems like the way forward. Yeah, because that's a checkpoint. So we have to get onto this one. What the hell is this? A VR? <laughs> what? Wormhole Survivor 3 billion years from home? What? Wearing a PSV? I don't know, man. Yo, what about Until Dawn? Was that? That was a PlayStation exclusive, right? Wasn't that like the whole thing that started? I mean, it was the thing that started Super Massive's new shit. But like, isn't Until Dawn also kind of like a, a game that could be here too? I guess they would have the clown, who would be different from Sweet Tooth, obviously.
probably couldn't have Spider-Man for licensing, but I feel like they probably can. There you go. <laughs> you love to see it. I don't know what the hell's going on. Who is this? Living Relic. Uh, what was that? That's Knack. Okay, did I find the second puzzle piece? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright. I'm assuming it's Knack. I don't know. We will have plenty for gotcha pulls, 100%. Because <clears throat> what do we have? Another three levels, I think? Yep. Wait, do we? We have five from there, five from there, five from the turtles and trash. Yeah, wait, so where's the last five going to be? Oh, maybe once you beat all of them, there's a final one. There's a finale. There's a tenth level. All right, Danger Dojo. Oh, are we Ninja Gaiden? No, Ninja Gaiden was an NES one. I mean, not the 3D ones, I don't think. Ghost of Tsushima. I don't think... Yeah, they once again, they, they did not give Ghost of Tsushima almost any love, I don't think. Did they? They said, you're going to be in a side level, homie. Thanks for being a better game than anyone expected, but uh, you're gonna be in a side game. The lasers couldn't trigger it. Now right, well, we see the second one. Yeah, I guess you can't hit him. I tried to hit him, so I'm assuming you have to platform to him. You know what it could be? You aren't supposed to cut... I might have to die here. You aren't supposed to cut these ones on the left as much. Oh, I got it. Wow. Holy shit. I was going to say, I'm just going to jump off and die then. <laughs> this is one of the most lenient pieces of land I think I've seen in a platformer in a while. Okay. Actually hit it that way. Trap floor. Yeah, and they interrupt you. Yeah, I really wonder how look at this. I really wonder how like Pyramid Head became Silent Hill's version of Nemesis. It's really weird. Western warrior, a pirate, and a samurai? Deadly. Oh, uh, is this the Neo dude? I think it's the Neo guy. I, I played Neo for maybe like 10 minutes one time. <laughs> yes! Vengeful spirit, a samurai no war. Uh, is this not, is this a Neo level? Dude, where's Jin? Don't rob me of this guy. I guess, no, yeah, Vengeful Spirit, yeah, the Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Because they do spend the whole game calling him the Ghost, yeah. 
What a fucking good game. You ever just have a game so good come out, you're like, wow, how the fuck did this get made? Like, at all? <laughs> how did this game get greenlit? It's good. What the fuck? You get scared. You're like, what? You start thinking, you start overthinking, man. You're like, what the fuck? Oh, we're making platforms. You start double, you start double thinking like, wow, how the fuck did this happen? And you get sad when it's over. You're like, fuck, I will never get to relive this experience ever in my life. Like I'm gonna die someday. And I will always remember what happened here because it was so good. It changed my perspective on the fucking type of game. I don't know how this is going to work, but whatever. I guess we'll just do it live. Who is this? I have no idea. Who is it? The Demon Swordsman. Took up the gauntlet against a demon army? No idea. Tony Musha, maybe? What? No, don't grab it. They're, they're hitting me. Hit him back. There you go. <laughs> I think the one thing that they could have had was time trials. I know they wanted this to be a much more casual platform, but I think time trials would have been cool. Bro, could you not? I already have everything. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what? Alright, anyway, see you in hell. <laughs> He looks so weird with that mask on, but I, I kind of recognize it. Okay. Right. High suction hero. It's gonna be another ball level, maybe. Oh, I forgot about the elephant. Okay. Data. What the hell are we supposed to suction? Am I completely missing something? Oh, okay. We can, we can suction concrete. We've never done this before. So definitely nothing yet. There you go, buddy. Oh. 
see, like, I think it's fair to have, like, smaller levels like this. I'm glad that this was not, like, the entirety of the game, you know? It was just small levels like this. I think that the way that they designed the first, the main levels was pretty well done, you know? I think that was pretty good. I guess the void levels were really the hardest levels in the game. Yeah. There you go. If you hit this, you probably go forward. <laughs> Yo, think about how fucked that would be. Alright, is there anything down here? Like, did I miss somebody? I don't hear them. So I'm assuming I'm good. What the hell is that? Oh, it's uh, Hellgast, right? Yeah, and Helgen Red Eye catches you. Yeah, it's what, is that? That's Kill Zone, right? It's so funny. I know these two series by heart, and well, not the lore, obviously, but I, I know these two series. Like I've, I've heard about them for years. I've never played a game in either of them. I don't think. I think maybe once I played Resistance Two at someone's house, but I don't remember jack shit about it. Am I supposed to do with this? Ice, okay. Now you know there's something up there, right? Maybe this isn't the play, because I think I need two to get up there. Ah, I broke it. Fuck. Okay, so you have three. You have three usages you have to use to get onto those. That, that's going to be kind of tough. This is probably the hardest thing in the bonus level so far. Right, yeah, because you cannot get up there, at least. Not right off the bat. You have to wait for this. Okay. Can't really see the second one. But I know it's a big one, so I think we have to use two to get up there. Ah, I, can't. I had it. Okay, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to turn around and then use it again. The only thing that sucks is the setup, because you have to get this perfectly. Oh, shit. I, I missed it. It's fine. Or you have to come back from over... Nah. Let's, let's try it this way, even though it's harder. What? How did that... Well, at least I'm not dead. <laughs> you probably could just go to the land and then do it. But where's the fun in that? that that's easy. Oh my god! Oh, I did it. There's nothing up here. Are you fucking kidding me? I did all of that for nothing. There's nothing up here. Wow. <laughs> you do all that, there's nothing. There's no bonus. Wow. Okay, well. 
I don't even know if we could act. I think we have to go back now because I have to get the. Uh, I have to have at least one so I can make it across. Wow, that that felt like something that would definitely give you a secret. Yeah, so you're just supposed to do this. That's it. I guess, why do you, they give you all three here? Okay. I guess concrete to grab the puzzle piece? Ah, fuck. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> I thought we put it right under me. It put it in front of me. It's fine. I guess now we could go to the left. Okay, or it cannot give me my jump. I think honey if you need vertical. Right, I don't know who this is. <laughs> Another kill zone character. Independent mutant. We are all individuals. No clue. Uh, we're still missing two. I don't think there's anyone over here, right? So what's the purpose of going on this spinning rock? They're both puzzle pieces, right? Yeah, okay. All right, one of them's stuck on the bottom of the rocket. That's gonna be where I go next. Got him. Yeah, so all we're looking for is one final bot. <laughs> oh no, help! Ah! <laughs> I don't know, these literally look all identical. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to know who they're supposed to be at all. Confused mutant. Which one am I again? I don't know. I'm very confused. As someone who's never played this series, I have no idea if there's like an individual character or what. Okay. Alright, this time we don't take the dual shocker and fly away, we use the rocket. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, clearly not. All right, there's only 10 more and then we're done. Turtles in the trash. So who are, we, like, at this point, who are we missing? Twisted Metal Man, basically, right? Like, did we ever have Sweet Tooth? That would be the only person I think that we have not seen is Sweet Tooth. Which is kind of fucked if they're not in. That would be like one of the biggest misses for sure. Uh, all right, I don't think we're seeing Sweet Tooth this level. Tribal Flag Bearer? They, they got a bunch of rhythm games I don't know anything about. No, don't, don't do that. It's fine.
He only swims so much in this level, maybe? and clean. You got one puzzle piece. Yeah, they're they're just kind of giving you stuff. These are just bonus levels. All right, I, I took these to be like hard levels. These are just bonus levels, basically. I kind of wish we did have like a whole bunch of really difficult levels at the end. That would be kind of cool. Even if it's not like stupidly difficult, right? Like obviously they're not trying to make this the most ridiculous platformer. They probably are just doing this, one, for people who really like the games, and two, for people who are, you know, let's be fair, maybe a little bit on the younger side, right? So there's a PS5 game they could play this fall. You know, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate them for it. I don't think that just because a game is a kid's game means that it can be any less enjoyable by adults. I'm not, like, I'm not one of those people. In fact, sometimes I think the, the best games out there are games made for kids. Sometimes you, you want to get away from how super serious so many things are, so I don't blame them. There's a random turtle jump in there. <laughs> Holy shit. Missing now? We're missing two people. We really didn't see anyone back there. Hold on. No, I guess not. It's dead quiet. As long as there's no one on the turtle's head, which I kind of doubt. Someone's struggling. Yeah, I've seen this, like, weird creature thing before. I just don't know what the hell they even call it. I don't remember. Huh. Yeah. There's a boss fight. It's literally on rails. Oh, that's it? We're done? Alright, literally like the easiest boss in the game. Yeah, but we miss... We miss, we miss someone. I gotta go back. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I have no idea where he was. Holy shit. We'll bring the bird, I guess. It's not a big deal. Yeah, dude, Sweet Tooth is like literally one level to show up, unless I missed him and he came in earlier. Uh-oh. Big present. Right, because right, wasn't it 22 puzzle pieces? So were there 10 bonus levels and I just miscounted, or are there actually going to be two more at the end here? Oh, dude. I hate that. You, you can't hit him if, until he lands. And he keeps getting me with that shit, too.
right? Okay, not a peep out of the bird. Holy shit. Still have blackface Astrobot. <laughs> we still haven't been cleaned off at all. Yeah, so I guess it just stays on you until the next time you touch a water source. It's like Super Mario Sunshine levels here. Silent bird. You have to climb this. Okay, I didn't see this before. All right, very nice. Again, it's three of the same. They did this with Abe's, and they did this with other ones. Like, I kind of wish that they didn't just have the same, what appears to be, the same enemy three times, or the same Astrobot three times in a row. But whatever, that's fine, I guess. Alright. What are we looking at for this right now? Yeah, 22. Never mind. Okay, th those were 10 levels. It, it didn't feel like it. Man, we're, we're fast approaching the end of this game. These are the last five Astrobots. The final Encore. <laughs> this is like the ultimate thanks for playing level, basically. What? Oh, it's a new power right at the end. <laughs> the final encore. This makes enemies jump. Okay. This is gonna be fun. Who's this? <laughs> Classical conductor. Excellent conducting under pressure. I wonder if these are like actual people or if they're from games as always. These look like real people, yeah. Spirited crooner, singing isn't a sport, it's a battle. Can we skip? Yes, we can. We can just do this. Oh, dude, they do the Mario Sunshine shit. I love this. <laughs> okay. Ah, 
I was gonna press it. I, I didn't realize that also was up top like that. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Is this Fall Guys, really? Yeah, maybe, maybe those are video game dudes, then. Never mind. The Clumsy Bean. We got Fall Guys reference in this game, too, man. Fall Guys is the new Rathalos. You know what, this is probably the level you run then to get money. You got stuck in a key. Oh, here we go with these things. I feel like they never use these things a lot. They're only in a couple levels. Which is fair. I guess it doesn't have to be in every level. That's what I mean. Like, I like when platformers have a lot of levels so they could really, like, try to remix all kinds of different shit, you know? I think that's one of the coolest parts of a platformer is that you can have all these different kinds of mechanics and gameplay all at the same time. To me, it just feels a little bit more organic than, like, a shooter that does this, you know? How are you? Amateur vocalist. Maybe I'll look it up at the end, like, who are some characters that Astrobot doesn't have? Because I feel like, I, unless Sweet Tooth happened and I just forgot, I feel like he wasn't really in the game. I kicked something, but it doesn't matter. And I mean, like, entire franchises that were not represented. Not not one or two characters that just didn't make the cut. Like, what? I don't know. Do we even see, like, Calypso or anything? To my knowledge, no. So. And was it Dollface? have everything no we missed the first puzzle piece all right well now go back to that oh these are supposed to be top hats i didn't even realize what they were supposed to be what the hell is this lost and found found all box and lost galaxy which is also the last one period Oh, uh, what is it? That's the Galactic News Lady, right? From that one game that's, like, really niche. Oh, shit, I don't remember the name of it. All right, we're missing exactly one puzzle piece, so we'll go back and get it. And then that will be the absolute finale for the game. We'll beat the final boss. All right. Uh, hello? All right, we don't have to beat the whole thing. What is it? It's like Galaxy News Radio? Is it? Or is that Fallout 3 and I'm misremembering? It's something. It's something like that. It's cool that at the very end they have like one final new power-up. We'll pay for it because I didn't. I didn't even see it. All right, not back here, right?
Actually, yeah, if you just hold L2, you can just do it way faster. You don't have to do it the normal way. Oh, that could have been a deadly combo. <laughs> now you can't you can't force him off the ledge. Okay? Oh my god. That's actually pretty well hidden. Because they already have a secret up there. Alright, well, we can leave now. And there you have it. That's every level in Astrobot. 100%. We probably have to land back to put the final puzzle piece in. But at this point, that's that's it. We've 100%ed the game. We've done everything else besides the final boss. Oh, and there, oh there, I guess there's a few other things. There's probably two puzzle pieces from the the group the group things that we could do. Three hundred. <laughs> I feel like a demolition derby level with Sweet Tooth would have been cool. There's four puzzle pieces somewhere. Okay. There you go. For Aloy. Grateful Calf? For who? What? Is that an Uncharted character? I don't know. Horn Protector. Uh, oh, what is it? Ico? Yeah, Ico. Okay, so that's where that's from. Oh, Staff. That's not Shenmue. I have no idea what it is. It's that trivia dude. You wanna know what that was? That was probably a PlayStation Move game. We don't we don't remember that. Here we go. Alucard. C's, yeah, for extracurricular activity. It's like the something eradication squad. Lost Guardian. Stealth. Wait, what? It's Chrome! Holy shit, I'm actually gonna put that on. Like the final upgrade. Loading door, yeah! Like what the hell? Yeah, it's iconic, the loading door, how it slowly opens the door and these dudes are waiting outside. That's why they can't walk out the front. If you try to walk out the front door, the game is like, oh no, you can't actually do that. Here's Gravity Rush Lady. The Rappa the Rappa. And here's Uchi Katana, the family heirloom. I that's one that's some game, I don't know. Hunting essentials for Bloodborne dude. What was it just the hunter? Vampire Slayer for it's Richter, Richter. Neon Lady from Infamous. Reporter's Mike. Colorful Dice. Play that. Whatever that is. Paintbrush. I, I remember this game. I don't remember the name of it, though. Doggy Toys, what the fuck? That looks so freaky. Yeah, here we go. It's Jaster. Thanks, Ash. Shout out to Ash, because I would have never played that game otherwise. Amazing what you could find in prison. Okay, yeah, you find a sword. I like how this game gives more love to Gravity Rush than the entirety of Sony has in the last decade. Malicious AI. Was he really talking to a robot the whole game? Oh, that's the second game. Yeah, yeah, so that's like the only thing that they reference from the second game, is him talking to that AI. Alright, so it, it sucks, I don't have enough coins to buy everything. So, I guess I could end the game, here we go, the Yarnum outfit. Foreigner's Katana. Yeah, here we go, that's for him, for Nika, uh, uh, Neo Man. So we have a gold outfit and a chrome outfit. Even ghosts need to relax sometimes, yes. And and then meditate. I mean, we could just keep pulling at this point because we have nothing else left, right? What the fuck is this? Malware missiles. Mutant munition. 
Oh, it's a PlayStation Move, right? They have a gun attachment for it. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Colorful cans. That's it, we don't have enough. Well, with all the work I've done, we're only missing what? 32 items, so I would need another 3,200 coins. I don't know what level would give me 3,200 coins. I guess if I ran Final Encore a whole bunch, then I could easily do that. That, that is like such an easy thing to do, is just we're just farming levels over and over for money. It's not even as big of a farm as Battle for Bikini Bottom was at the end. So do we even have a resistance group? What the fuck? I wonder, yeah, I wonder who's missing, honestly. Okay. We need to go over here. Where is it? No, right here. I really feel like I should just grind out the last, right? And that's assuming that we don't get any cans, which is a possibility that we'll need a little more. So I don't know if I want to grind that. That would be the only thing that I would do. Like, I would say, oh, I'll be back in like an hour or two and do it. I'm not, I'm not going to do that now. I think, I think that's fine. It's not even like it would be a hard grind. It would just be a minor grind for the next like hour or two. Um, hello. Thank you. These don't count. <laughs> you can lapping. Who the fuck is this? I mean, actually, you know what? If, if for nothing else, it would be good just to get, like, the, the platinum, probably. That's probably the last thing to do is, hey, to get the platinum for Astrobot, you need to make sure you have enough for everybody. You have to get all their items so they could all play on this planet. That's definitely the last thing you need to do. Uh, okay. You even need them to do this? <laughs> All right. Now for the finale. We need 250 people somewhere in here. It's over here. So the, the random, like, other characters don't count, unfortunately. So that's why Spyro's never helped out. Crash can help out, but I don't know. I guess maybe Spyro just is, is different. I don't know why Spyro is not treated as an astrobot. Oops. Sorry, guys. Pyramid. <laughs> Who is this? Won't cause you any aggro? Okay, that's it. We have officially rescued everybody who can be rescued. Well, we'll go to space real quick so we don't have to leave. They just look up into the stars. Right? Alright. I don't normally do this, but we might as well look at this point just to see. Save the CPU kid. There's a lot. Oh, yeah. You know what it is? In every single level, there's a unique thing you have to do. You have to know what it is, though, which is a lot of work. So I, I think for the most part, we've gotten everything that's not like a hidden, a hidden level thing, right? A lot to process. Save the CPU kid. Rescue all bots in all the places. Probably 100% the game. Right? Open Safari Park. Successfully dunked the basketball in Construction Derby. Found all of that. Take out two Wormies at the same time. Leap through the ring. Froze a hammerling deity with the axe. And, and, uh, and then you have to mess around in Crash Site. Okay. Thickest Thieves, you probably get to, uh, Laura Croft. And Dude Raider is his level is. You probably get that busted a move with an iconic marsupial. 
Made a tough guy drop all his items. Deep pocketed dragon. Picked a fight with two street fighting warriors. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. It's cool, cool, cool. Made it to the top of the mothership. At the top of my game. We could try that. Bot bot revolution for dancing. Let, let's try to get on top of the mothership. Even though that's totally whatever. Alright, well, obviously giving them all their items is like the true 100. I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I'll come back and I'll just do it randomly one day. This will be like one of the easiest platformers I've ever 100%ed, which is fair. How do you get on top of this, though? SSD! There you go. Seems like most of the Astrobots actually just hang out on this on the actual PlayStation. There you go. There you go. I'm at the top of my game. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, let's go ahead and let's finish the game. Yes, it's time. What kind of crazy final boss are we going to have, man? <laughs> We're coming for the CPU! Can we shoot it with the PlayStation 5? Quick, fire all the games! Boy, Astrobots! This is the most ridiculous ending ever. <laughs> Play Squadron Go! Alright, something tells me it's not a very serious final boss fight. Yeah, blast him! Holy shit! Alright, that's, that's where the final puzzle pieces are. So you have to pick them up as well. Okay. Look, maybe the alien doesn't really have good reinforcements, you know? Thank you. I cannot believe this. We're going to need the help of all the past PlayStations. Someone could even argue better consoles, but whatever. Yeah, all the different, like, accessories from PlayStation 1. I had a PlayStation 1. I, I think I've said this. That was my first console when I grew up. That's, that's why I played Spyro on. That was close. <laughs> yeah, they did have microphones on the PS2. I remember my cousin had a PS2, and so what they ended up doing a lot of the times is they would play SOCOM. And like on it was some SOCOM game like you could direct people to go to places. I remember that. I have no idea what game that was. I remember that from years ago, man. Oh, we gotta go in reverse. <laughs> yeah, why don't you die already? Thank you. Is this a blast processing choke? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, we've taken some damage. You actually have hit points in this final fight.
Uh, I think I might have missed it. Oops. Don't worry, the PSP is safe. Dude, the PSP was lit, man. He'll be fine, I hope. <laughs> Alright, easy, you're fine. Yeah, you can land on top of them, it doesn't do anything. Oh, you get a full heal. Holy shit, okay. This is one of the more lenient final segments I think I've ever seen. You get a full heal for doing that. Ow, shit. The Vita. Which I actually had fun on my Vita. I, I used it mostly to play Sword Art, though. Thank you. <laughs> Where does he get this army from? Holy shit. Got it. I missed one. I missed one. You have to help him. You have to kill those enemies perfectly. All right, here he is. What are we even supposed to call this thing? <laughs> All right, unload. <laughs> Poor CPU, man. Space bully Nebulax. Ah, oh, it's a roulette. Oh no, I hate these bosses. I hate final bosses, man. Thank you. What the fuck is this? The float. I just have to wait for at some point to counter attack. First lock's free. I don't know, did I get an extra hit on that second one? Maybe not. Okay. Alright, so we might actually have to do all six phases. What was this? The symbol? No, the monkey. Oh, this might be the worst one. I'm really bad with the monkey. Oh shit! Just get back the CPU, it's not worth it, I swear. <laughs> Only four left? Yeah. What's the skull? Hopefully it's not death. Alright, dog. Or magnet, rather, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
We didn't really use this power up too much. Well, that, that's the easiest one by far. That's just a freebie. <laughs> I think he's got one more chain left. Oh, no, that's it. You don't have to do everything. Yeah, the CPU. Now he can continue to play no games. Yes. It's a lot to process. <laughs> I could do to traumatize you. Uh oh. You know what time it is. Shoot him. Let him have it. You gonna run out of things to throw? Yeah. That's the power of PlayStation. Enjoy. Right up your ass! The best place to play! You're coming to hell with me, Astrobot! Could you imagine if this game had a bad ending because you didn't rescue enough Astrobots? My friends, this is goodbye. I did it all for you, my friends. <laughs> That's it. It's a sad ending. Holy shit. I didn't get them all the toys that they needed, so they couldn't save me at the end. Yo, that would be so crazily funny, man. They're going to make me grind out 3,000, aren't they? Oh, is he fine? Okay, good. Thank you. I was going to say, imagine if you actually have to get all the toys to get a perfect ending. Okay, we're, we're definitely messed up. All right. Well, Aloy, stop doing that. Do something. Here we go. Here we go. Shake him first. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. I know you're missing an arm, but wake up. <laughs> Is there anything even left in here? Come on. How do you turn this damn thing off and then back on? Uh, maybe we should reattach his arm first. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, I'm not a surgeon, okay? Thank you. Come on, wake up. What else is broken on him? His cape, I guess? Oh, dude, he is so fucked. <laughs> Keep, keep giving me new parts, quick! Oh my god. That was his good arm. Here we go. We gotta fix all his legs. Where are they finding these spare parts? I guess you could argue they're in the PlayStation. Just take it off. There you go. Good as new. We obviously can't remove his head. Right? There you go. 
extra life. Dude, he actually died. He had no heart left. My precious child, speak to me. Okay, he's fine. Dude, seeing Kratos happy is the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> Only in spin-off material. Very nice. They did such an amazing job on this game, man. Like, seriously. Credits clash. Yeah, we play over the credits. Did did they do everything right in this game? Seriously. Oh my god, dude. No, not enough games do this. Seriously. I love this. They do this in Smash too. All right, the dog. Gameplay programming. Dude, they did such a good job with this, man. Like, and then people will tell me, oh, no, 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 platformers aren't worth it. Plat you can't have a platformer today. I just think that's because companies just don't want to try. I mean, knowing Sony, they'll just see this and they'll be like, ah, eh, whatever, fuck it. We're not going to do it anyway. How about some more Concords? You know, like, it, it sucks. Because you absolutely could do it. They've, they've proved it. They have people who can. There's no reason not to. It, it sucks, man. And that's why I'm glad that this happened. I don't know how this game got made, seriously. Oh, okay, well you don't jump off. <laughs> I don't know how this game got made at all. We're living in the most insane timeline. Oh god, the ball. I was expecting this in the final fight, honestly. Even if this never gets a sequel, like, this is probably one of the most memorable games I think I've played from Sony in ages, dude. You know, you don't just throw us on a... Especially, like, even something as small as messing around on the credits. Like, I've said this before. Like, you, you know, you don't always just have to have it be... Okay, well, here's just a black screen with a bunch of names on it. Man, that did this, too, which is kind of dope. Oh, good lord. Yo, they should have had this in the final fight. Could you imagine? Oh shit. Don't worry, it's the credits that doesn't stop me from dying. And that's what I mean. I know deep down Sony has it in them. I just, I don't know if they can do it. What the hell? Okay, well this was not in the game. <laughs> Here's cut powers. Enjoy. <laughs> We cut these for a reason. Giving him a gun made the game too easy. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Kill some enemies with a gun. Why not? Guns make every game better, right? That's what they did in Sonic too. Oh, finally. It comes back. Music composition. Like, honestly, them not doing this is probably more of a crime than, like, making Concord. Because I could live with one or two bad games coming out. I think what makes it really bad is, like, when they you know they can do much better, and then they just don't. I think it's his own memory card. Holy shit. And what? And you! <laughs> you! What a great game, seriously. What, what, just what a really well done platforming game, man. And, and that's what sucks. Is this gonna be a one-off? Could they at least make a platformer every couple of years? You know, like, I don't know. And that's what I think is really cool, you know, that they put all this time and effort in to make this game by people you could tell have not only been talented developers, but they've played games before. They know the pitfalls a lot of other games run into and therefore what not to do with it, you know? 
And so that's what I think is really cool about this game is if you've played a lot of platformers, and there's a lot that I haven't like fully played and fully beaten, but if you've played a lot of platformers, or even if you played none, right? Like this game has a lot of good stuff to it. And I think that's what's gonna make it memorable five, 10 years out from now, right? When we're on the PlayStation six and seven, like look at all these great games that could easily be, you could easily see them making like a Jack here, you know, a, another game there, but then they do it and they overprice it. And I know this is as much of me like lamenting Sony, you know, what they're doing wrong as it should be like, you know, this game is good, but this game proves they could do it. So that's why it's bullshit when they don't. And I love this because if we had more games like this, you know, I just, I, just, I don't know, man. That, this feels like an easy layup to me. Spending like 20, 30 million dollars on a platformer. Who knows how much this game costs? I guess that would be the one thing to say. Like, did, did this game cost like 60 million? Did it cost 20? Right? It's just, it makes no sense to me, man. They're even doing like the Mega Man and uh, the Donkey Kong thing. <laughs> Clearly, once again, like Toys for Bob, there is a studio that knows how to do this. <laughs> Jin and Octodad. <laughs> so, like, when Nintendo comes out and they have, like, ten different franchises, a couple of which they just literally have neglected since I was a kid, it's like, well, what the fuck? Like, why can't Sony do this? Like, they have actually more franchises than Nintendo. I mean, think of all the people that we found in this game itself, right? We found so many hundreds upon hundreds of reference characters, right? And so when, you know, it's, it's not that Sony doesn't have it like Microsoft, who has to basically buy their way into this situation. They, they have enough, you know? It's just unfortunate, but as for this game, yeah, exactly. Fuck with Kratos. That you, you could, you could do a lot worse. That's Kratos being nice. <laughs> Ginny of the Lamp. Oh, uh, what is that? Klonoa? Oh, that's what that is. That's Klonoa. I think I got a re-release recently, actually. Uberfo, yeah, UFO, the Uberfo. There you go, the singing tree. Maybe not. Okay. And now for the final stretch. There you go. Here's all the other stuff. Just a shame, man. We hope to see you again soon. Yeah, I wonder what games they've made and what games they will make in the future. Now, knowing my luck, they're going to get closed down by Sony and I can be absolutely just disgusted at the end. <laughs> this is exactly how franchises like this used to get started. Seriously. It, all it took was something as simple as this. A bandicoot jumping around, a dragon picking up collectibles. That's all it really took at the end of the day. Like, seriously. Uh-oh. New galaxy discovered. All right, you can reenact the thrilling final battle as often as you like. Is that it? It's just puzzle pieces? Yeah, I missed one puzzle piece. Yeah, I think I could get it. I think I, I, think I could try to get it. Deja vu dimension. Okay, so see, each one is... Dude, this this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Each part of the final boss is its own separate entity. So if you want to just do the chase, you could do the chase. You don't have to... And if, if you miss something over here, you don't have to... Con you could just jump right to it. You know what I mean? You don't have to do it. If you want to see the credits, small things like this are what I'm really talking about with a lot of games like this. So instead of having to sit through everything, you could just replay it as often as you like. I'm telling you, they, they got it, man. They know. They fucking know, man. And then don't worry, we'll get another 20,000 walking sims where they're all super serious and over the top and spending the entire game sucking themselves off. You know what I mean? Like, it's ridiculous, man. And I'm not saying that that's bad. There's a lot of games that are over the top and serious that I like, you know? But sometimes simple is just better. You know, sometimes you don't have to do all this stuff over the top to make a good game. I don't even think you can do anything to this up front. <laughs> be greedy, it's fine. Be greedy, be greedy. Kill him early. 
Ow, that actually hurt a lot. <laughs> we got a couple hundred coins, but it's not enough. We still need way more, unfortunately. What was that, Jack and Sly? Where was it? Was it in the PS3 section, or, or what? I don't remember where it was. No. It was that Ratchet and, and Ico? No, that's Shadows of the Colossus. That's another game I didn't play. I didn't play a lot of those. I wonder what is a good grinding level. Maybe I will just grind it out. Imagine if you could use the PlayStation, like, symbols the whole time. That would be pretty funny. All right. It's, like, somewhere, like, right around here, which is really difficult. This is probably the, the hardest one to get in the game, because if you mess it up, you have to sit through everything again. Where is it? All right. There you go. You have to kill all of them. All right. That's it. I think we could just leave now. Yeah. nice i think that's it i think that should be absolutely everything in the game every collectible now so the only thing that will be left to do is to get everyone's item which costs a lot of money i'm not sure what the fastest way to farm money is in this game probably just to play levels over and over very nice golden astrobot statue you made one for me yeah, and all the power-ups. Oh, that's so cool, man. Monumental achievement. Unlock the golden statue. Looks like a special friend awaits you at the top. Okay. Let's do it. You rid the world of that evil bully and save the day, but there's so many lost bots to rest. No, there aren't. That that's it. We found all the bots. What are you talking about? I guess it's just the first time you come back to the crash site, but we definitely have nothing else to rescue. All 300 are required for this. Solid snake. Yeah, no Returnal, sadly. I think Returnal was also another one that they, they definitely dropped the ball on. It was up here in PlayStation Heaven. Oh my god. <laughs> There'll be a sequel. They're going to tease a sequel with Nintendo. <laughs> the Great... Ma oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, the X. Oh, God. We have to kill it. Oh, shit. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Okay, at least I know not to die to that. I expected to die there, actually. Ah, I, I was greedy. That was complete greed. I, sh I knew I should not have done it, and I felt like I could get away with it. I don't know why I thought bouncing on that was going to give you iframes. That was complete greed. Oh, 
Oh, um, I was also kind of greedy, I guess. Bro, I need to stop fucking around. This is going to be like a five minute straight level that I cannot mess up on. God damn, all right, this is tough. This is gonna be hard. I wonder if there's a faster way to do this portion coming up. I don't know if there is. I guess you could skip the thing that's spinning around. Yeah, no, see, I don't, I don't think you could do that. I think you actually have to wait for that every time. Oh, this is gonna be uh this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> I think I think my prayers are answered right at the end. They're like, uh actually we should throw in one final super level. You actually have to prog on so you can figure out what the fuck. I guess you shouldn't bait him this early. You should bait him now. Yeah, okay. So I, I've been messing that up. You actually just chill here. And then you bait him like there. Yeah. That's actually pretty strict timing, all things considered. They body block you. I've never seen them do that. Okay. That was bad. That was really bad. God, dude, he had a leaning hook shot. I didn't even see him until the last second. Fuck. Wow, that's actually really difficult. That that's that part not so much. I just didn't see him. I didn't realize he was cooking up a shot. I'm not even going for the X there. That's actually a waste. Oh my god. Dude! What is this guy's, like, ridiculous trick shots? He's... Okay, so the second I go up there, even before I jump over across, he's already looking to shoot me. I mean, we're making progress, but god damn.
We might get all the money we need by the time I'm done dying on this. It's not that bad. Dude, oh my god. This guy is like a complete fucking serial killer. Trying to balance on this other thing. That is really terrible of me. I, I should not be dying to that. That is really bad. They got me fucked up waiting for this guy. I keep thinking that if I'm not on that block, he can't hurt me. See those first couple of hits hit hit the O block. I think I did it. Wow, what a fucking level that was. Are we even done? Who is it? Who is this? Lyrical master? I, I don't even know who this is. The special master bot. What? I have no idea who this is. Well, there you have it. That's probably going to be where we end. Witness all the ship parts singing together. Didn't we see that already? Oh, no. Now we have to go look at the, the CPU singing as well. The throwback outfit. Gen 1 dual speeder. Yeah, like the original PlayStation 1. <laughs> this must be some crazy throwback to some shit from ages ago. All right. Well, you know what? I mean, all things considered, 301. Very nice. He's the last bot to show up. All that would be left to do, hypothetically, would be to revisit all the different areas, do all the different challenges and stuff. Sadly, I just don't have enough coins to do that. Speed King. Sword of Dreams. Yeah, no Cloud, by the way, which is kind of weird. That's unfortunate. Was that a Witcher? Was that Carol? Resting place. This is probably Ico or some shit. Or Shadow of the Colossus or something. Here we go. Dante. <laughs> Juggling one of the clown enemies. Yeah, there you go. The, uh, the, the Butcher's Blade for Pyramid Head. And then this is for Ribbit. Whatever it is. Alright. Well, there's 25 more items that are out there somewhere. Seems like we've completed a couple other things as well. Yeah, that's the Castlevania set. But yeah, you know what? For what it's worth... Oh, they automatically equip it. That's pretty funny. For what it's worth, man, this was truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience. And I'm hoping that it won't be, you know? I'm hoping that it will be anything but a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Because you know what? 
you can, as much as you could like or dislike Sony, and that's the thing I ultimately said about this, is that this is still a good game at its heart. Even if you want to say, oh, well, it's just a nostalgia game, it's just a graveyard, it's whatever. At, at its heart, this is still a good game, you know? And that, that's ultimately what matters, is that they really knew what they wanted to do. They have a dedicated, talented team to set out to try to do it. And ultimately, that's really all that you really need, you know? Like, you just need people who understand the game they're making, who really know how to make it, and then have enough leash to be able to do it. Now, obviously there's nuance to all of this, right? Every game's gonna be a little bit different, but ultimately that's really what it comes down to, I feel. So unfortunately, that is where our Astrobot playthrough ends. I, I say unfortunately because I had such a good time. I enjoyed it so much. It's like, dude, when will we ever get another game like this, actually? You know, they, they deserve a lot for this. This this was truly a once in a lifetime event. And honestly, I'm, I'm really grateful for it. It was truly a masterpiece. So with that said, with that done, I want to thank you all for joining me for my Astrobot playthrough. Uh, One hell of a game, man. So I'll see you on the next one. Very nice. Thank you, Sony. Thank you, Team Asobi. This was really a great throwback. You know, I had a little bit of challenge here and there. I get that that wasn't the intent, right? But you know what? Somehow you managed to pull it off. And I, I shouldn't say manage, like they barely did it. Like, no, this team was talented. Somehow Sony managed to let them make this game. I, I, Sony fucks up on so many levels. But for once, something really good happened. So can't complain about that.